Hallelujah. Amen. Also tonight we will have a privilege to go through the word of God together, believing the word of God to be taught with power, power of the Holy Spirit, power to heal, power to bless, power to protect in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let us go to the word of God, to the book of um, Revelations, chapter 17, verse number 8. The Bible reads as follows. The beast which you saw once was, now is not, and yet will come out, up out of the abyss and go to its destruction. The inhabitants of the earth whose names have not been written in the book of life from the creation of the world will be astonished when they see the beast because it once was, now is not, and yet will come. I want us to, to start very well from the book of, from the beginning, where the Bible said that the beast you saw once was, now is not, and yet will come up out of the abyss and go to its destruction. One time we were talking about the place which is called abyss. We talked about the place called abyss. This place called abyss is a place where the evil spirits, the place where even the, the angels, some angels have been put there as a prison of the evil spirits. That is called abyss. Then I once talked up, we once talked a bit about it. The Bible talks about there was a man of Gadara. This man of Gadara, the Bible said that he was possessed by evil spirit. Not just one, by legions of spirits, legions of demons. And the Bible says that this man was possessed by so many spirits. The Bible says that when those spirits saw Jesus Christ, they begin to say, Jesus, do not send us to the abyss. They did not want, want to leave Gadara. They did not want to be sent to the prisons of demons. Yes, the, Jesus casted them out of the men of Gadara, but did not cast them out of Gadara. And the Bible says that they found pigs which they possessed and they killed by when they, those pigs were possessed by those spirits, they committed suicide. But I'm talking Amen. about this place called abyss then that means today as we speak there are certain spirits who are there there are certain angels who have been arrested those who have conspired against god and who have joined themselves with the devil who are in the place called abyss the prison of demons the prison also of those who are spiritual beings like angels who are fallen angels who have conspired against God. They are in that place called abyss. But according to the word of God, what we are reading here, the Bible says that when the Bible says that you saw one to us, that means these spirits, they were once operating somewhere. They were once operating this beast was once operating. And when he said that once was, once now is not, then that beast was arrested and put in abyss. Once that beast was put in abyss, yet will come out. That means it will be released out of abyss. When it is released out of abyss, it will operate. 
But the Bible said that, and go to its destruction. That means after that time when the beast will be given power, will be also sent to destruction. When he talks about to, and go to its destruction, he's talking about the lake of fire. Okay, let us go down. The inhabitants of the earth whose names have not been written in the Lamb book of life from the creation of the world will be astonished when they see the now is not and will and yet will come. The Bible says that the inhabitants of the earth whose names have not been written in the book of life who are these? That means there are some people who the Bible says that have not their names are not written in the Lamb's book of life. And the Bible talks about Amen. these people, their names are not written in the Lamb's book of life at the creation of the world. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Say fire, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Say, I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes. That means they are some people's names it's not like it's like those people whom you see giving their life to christ even us our names the bible say that were written in the lamb's book of life since the beginning of creation when you see somebody when the gospel of jesus christ is being preached that person is listening carefully that person is opening their their hearts and that person is accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior. Most of those Amen. people, they are, they are names already. They are not just being written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Now when they accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior, most of them, they have been, their name have been in the Lamb's Book of Life since the beginning of the, of the, of the age, beginning of time. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It Amen. is just as if they are confirming their names in the book of life. It is just the confirmation of their names. Okay. When you're talking about this, I want us to go to the book of um, Romans chapter 8 from verse number 29. The Bible said that for those God foreknew, he also predestined. To be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be, he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters, and those he predestined, he also called; those he called, he also justified; and those he justified, he also glorified. The Bible says that. Amen. For those who God has for you, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of son. And the Bible is talking about those who God for you. Remember what the Bible says that in the book of uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter, nine, chapter 1, verse number 5. The Bible says that, God said to Jeremiah, I knew you before you were born. You were born, you were conceived in your mother's womb. And I set you apart. And I, and I portend you to be a prophet. This is God talking to Jeremiah. And I want us to understand this. Amen. Before we were conceived in our mother's womb, know that we were with God. Hallelujah. Amen. When we Amen. were with God, God knew us. God knew you. God predestined you. God predestined you. When you were predestined that you are going to be born again, you are going to be saved, you are going to be the child of God. God knew you. God did not know us when we were born. 
God did not know us when we were in this world, but God foreknew us. He knew us before we were born. He knew us and he knew you are destiny before you were born, before you lived. God is not like a human being. You know, like a human being, those who are human beings, most of them, they know us after when we were born. After that, when you were born, that's when people begin to know you. They did not only know you when you were born. They also know you when they were looking at your life. Because everyone, when they're born, even our parents, they did not know who you are. They wanted to see what kind of a person who you are. And when they see how you behaved, how you talked, how you do things, then they knew and relate to you based on what they have seen concerning you. Amen. But that's not God. Amen. God, the Bible said that he foreknew us. He knew us before everybody knew you. He knew us before we were born. And he knew our lives in totality before you lived it. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. And he said Amen. that one day you are going to be born again. One day you are going to be saved. Yet that's why your name already was in the Lamb's book of life before the creation began. The day that you were born again, Amen. and many are born again, it is just the confirmation of their names in the Lamb's book of life. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It is just a confirmation. But the Bible says that there are some people whose names were not in the Lamb's book of life. No, it's those Amen. kind of people sometimes, no matter what the gospel was preached, no matter what was being said, no matter what they saw, you wonder why this person never accepted Jesus Christ. No matter how powerful the message, no matter how powerful the revelation, no matter how powerful was the sign and the wonder, no matter what they saw, but they never, they never given their life to Christ. Such kind of people, their names sometimes were not in the Lamb's book of life. Imagine what, what you're talking about. Do you know that there are some people who lived by the time of Jesus Christ? I'm not talking about the time of the apostles. I'm talking about the time of Jesus Christ himself. Jesus Christ yes. Jesus Christ teaching mighty words. Like what we're talking about, things that you hear. That Jesus Christ is talking the things that are out of this world. There are people who lived by the time of Jesus. When he was raising even the dead, when he was, was not wise enough to Amen. be born again, was not wise enough Amen. to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior, you wonder, how can a person do such kind of a thing? Sometimes it's because they were, their names were not written in the Lamb's book of life. Amen. And Amen. That is actually, you know, that kind of person is, you can say that they are cursed. How can you see, how can you hear such a powerful gospel, such a powerful words, the words of Jesus Christ, anointed words of Jesus Christ from Jesus Christ himself, yet never born again. Yet never born again. How can you hear Jesus? Jesus whom the Bible talks about. The Bible says that one day. One day the Bible says that. There were certain temple guards. Which were sent to he, Which were sent to go and arrest Jesus Christ. As they were sent to arrest Jesus Christ. They had Jesus. They arrived there. They found Jesus Christ preaching the word of God. As they arrived there and they found Jesus Christ preaching the word of God. And the Bible said that the way the word of God was so powerful, was so touching. And what the Lord Jesus Christ was talking about. They were so astonished. They were so mesmerized. They were so touched. And they could not arrest him. They could not do anything. And the Bible said that when they went back to the Pharisees and the teachers of the law. 
When they ask, why could not you arrest him? And the Bible say that, oh, there is no one talks like that man. There is no one talks like Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ's words are powerful. Jesus Christ's words are glorious. They were so mesmerized with the word of God. Yet there was somebody there. In all the preaching, in all the teaching, they were not moved. Yet there was somebody the day that Jesus Christ was raising the dead. That person was not moved. That person was not charged. It was as if nothing has happened. You wonder how can Jesus Christ do so much and somebody is not moved. The Bible said that there are some people whose names are not written in the book of life. Not written in the book of life. Not only now. The Bible says, since the creation of the world. Since the creation of the world. How can somebody. How can somebody. Not see the glory of Jesus. Somebody's eyes not open. Not hear the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. No matter how it was taught, there are people like that Amen. who are destined to go to hell. But thank God we are not part of them. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. That's what the Bible said that the inhabitants of the earth whose names have not been written in the book of life. From the creation of the world will be astonished to see the beast because the beast it was once was, now was not, is not, and will come. I want you to understand this. These inhabitants of the earth, remember, by this time the church have been raptured. The church have gone to heaven. After that, even the Christians who have lived through tribulation, They've lived through tribulation, yet they've died and many have been raptured and they've gone to be with the Lord. Have gone Amen. to be with the Lord. But Amen. there are some people who the Bible say that their names were not written in the Lamb's book of life from the creation of the earth. Who was left behind? Amen. And these yeah. people, of course, because their names are not written in the Lamb's book of life, they are not born again. They are not saved. They are not born again. They are not saved. We have heard some of them, they've, they've, they've now survived the Amagido. But yet they are still there, so angry with God, possessed by the evil spirit, doing the things that the devil wants, worshipping the devil. But the Bible says that they will see, they will be surprised that this beast who was in abyss have been released and this beast is operating in their days. Amen. You know, child of God, thank God that there are certain things that God is protecting us from seeing now in this time. Amen. Thank God that there are certain things that God will, pro will protect us from seeing even in the time to come. So that you may not know some stuff of the darkness. Because some stuff of the darkness are so ugly. Amen. Don't think that people who are living in the darkness, they are seeing good. No! Things that are there in the devil, in the darkness, are so ugly. Amen. But God has protected us from seeing. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. Some spirits, some demons, God has protected us from seeing them. Amen. Amen. Some attacks, God has protected us from seeing them. Amen. And God Amen. deals with them in the spiritual realm. Hallelujah. Amen. God Amen. protect us protect us in the spiritual realm and you never see some ugly plans, some ugly attack, some ugly manifestation of the certain spirit. It's the same thing when, he's talking away, when we're talking about this time. These are the things that you as a child of God, you will never see. 
Alléluia. Amen. You Amen. will never see the manifestation of certain spirits. Amen. You will never see the power of certain spirits. Amen. Which will be controlling Amen. even here on earth. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. You know, Amen. following Jesus Christ, loving Jesus Christ, living in the presence of Jesus Christ, accepting Jesus Christ. It's the greatest investment that you have ever done. Amen. It is not the waste of time. Amen. I don't Amen. know whether you are hearing what Amen. I'm saying. Amen. The enemy Amen. may be telling people in our days, telling people in our days, saying, telling those people, look at those who are praying. Look at those who are spending their time in the presence of God. Look at those who are spending their time doing the things of God. And the enemy lies to them and says, they are wasting their time. Look at those who are tithing. They are wasting their resources. It's a lie of the devil. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. Those who are wasting their life. Those who are hey, surrendering their time, their resources to the devil. Because the devil is a liar. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. The devil is a liar. The devil is a deceiver. Amen. If you want to find out that the devil is a the devil, you can ask if the devil li lied to her. And said that God said that hey, you must not eat this tree so that, so that, so that if agreed. And look how it ended. Because the devil is a liar. Jesus said that he's the father of all lies. Amen. When he lies, he speaks his native language. Therefore, you must not believe Amen. him. You must not give him chance. Because the word the devil is a what? He is a liar and is the father of all lies. You only have to believe Amen. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why Jesus Amen. said that I am the way, the truth, and the life. He is the final truth. He is the source of all truth. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. Many people will see very late that the devil has been lying to them all the time. Amen. Those who have been walking with Jesus Christ, spending their time in the presence of God, doing the things of God, were investing in the kingdom of God. Amen. And yet those who were as if were enjoying life, doing the things of the world, which are very which the devil have lied that they are so wonderful and they are so nice, yet it's just the trap of the enemy. Trying to lead many unto hell. Trying to lead many unto this calamity which we are hearing here. They will see the real horror. And they will wish they have walked with God. It's just that for many it will be very late. Amen. They won't be turning back. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed, but Amen. blessed are we, blessed are you, whom you are following Jesus Christ when you have got time. Amen. Whom you have given your life to Christ when you have got what? When you have got time. Amen. And child Amen. of God, keep on walking with God. Keep on serving God. No matter what the devil say, I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. No matter Amen. what the devil do, keep on walking with God. Keep on doing the things of God. Even though the world may Amen. laugh at you. Even though the world may laugh at you and say, ah, look what she's doing. What? Look what they're doing. Don't worry. Remember, we are walking in the narrow road. Remember, we are walking not in the wider road. We are walking in the narrow road. Which the Bible say that only Amen. few find it and walk in it. Amen. And many walk are walking in the wider road. That's why they may not understand what we do. Amen. They may not understand what you are doing. They may even think that you are lost. And no, they are the ones who are lost. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They are the ones Amen. who are lost when they don't understand what we do. Don't worry. We are not trying to fit into the 
into the systems of the world. We are not trying to fit in into the systems of the world, but we are trying to fit in into the things of God. The Bible says that be ye transformed by renewing your mind. Renew your mind so that you may know what God's will is renew. Don't, do not conform to the standard of this world, but transform your mind so that you may walk with God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says that in this generation, in this book of Revelation chapter 17, verse number 14, they will wage war against the Lamb, but the Lamb will trump over them. Because he's the Lord, Lord of lords, and the King of kings. And with him will be, will be he, he's called chosen and faithful followers. The Bible says that, you know, remember, in a few, in this, in the previous chapter we had, those generation fighting against God, so foolish enough, so stupid enough as to even fight against God. Again, the Bible we are hearing here now, trying to fight against Jesus Christ. Anyone who will try to fight against Jesus Christ, you know, because Jesus Christ is not a man. He is the, is the Lord of Lords. He's the King of Kings and is God. That person is wasting their time. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. I don't know whether it's the devil himself. Anyone who will challenge God, who will challenge Jesus, is the waste of their time. They are trying whatever they are trying on their peril. That's why I'm trying to say to you also tonight, child of God, I don't know what is challenging you. I don't know what is fighting you. But I'm trying to say to you, child of God, Fear nothing. You are more than the conqueror. Amen. And anyone Amen. who challenges you is challenging you for their own peril. It's just that they don't know that greater is he that's within us than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. Amen. And most of the time the enemy fight and try to challenge the children of God because they are uninformed. They don't have a revelation. They don't have understanding. But they will understand when they lose. When the, the, the Bible says that, but the lamb will triumph over them. I'm saying to you, doesn't matter what comes our way. Doesn't matter what comes your way, but you will triumph over them. Because we are what? Amen. We are more than the conqueror. Hallelujah. Amen. When Amen. you see trials of many kinds, child of God, rejoice. That's what the Bible says. Because you are more than the conqueror. You are undefeatable. Amen. You are you are unstoppable. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Wow. Anyway, because of time, wherever you are, begin to pray. Begin to pray that God have chosen you. God have called you and have chosen you in order to be more than a conqueror, to be, to protect you from a lot that even you don't know about. To protect you a lot from what you don't know about and many don't know about. Rabasha, <laughs> 
Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Fire, 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 I command fire. them to the abbey. I command them to the abbey. Anything which is not of God. Anything which is not of God. In my life. In my life. In my path. In my path. In my career. In my career. In my country. In our country. In our country. In every sector of my life. In every sector of my life. Catch fire now. 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 I command them. I command them. Come on. I command. I command. Everything I command. to turn around for my goal. Everything to turn everything around to for turn my goal. Say everything. Everything. Turn, everything. Around. turn around. Turn around. For my goal. For my goal. So my let goal. there be miracle jobs. Let there be miracle jobs. Let there be miracle, miracle jobs. jobs. Miracle jobs. Miracle, miracle jobs. jobs. Miracle so let there be miracle testimony. Let there be miracle testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. So let there be progress. Let there be progress. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus you Christ. are my Lord. You are my Lord. You, you are, are my, my Savior. You are my Savior. You are Wash my me savior. with your blood. Wash me with your blood. Wash me with your blood. Forgive me my sins. Forgive me my sins. Forgive Bless me, my me sins. today. Bless me today. Bless Protect me, today. me from today. Protect me from today. Protect me from today. From today. I am, I am born again. I am born again. I am saved. I am saved. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The love of God. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all. Be with us all. Surely goodness and love. Surely goodness and love shall follow me. Shall follow me. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I dwell in the house of the Lord. I dwell in the house of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh this is just a reminder.